Okay, what we have here today is a Dell um, E198FP monitor. And basically this monitor um, does, is, is a black screen. It does have a flashing light. I just plugged in the power. You can see down here the flashing power light. Um, that's almost a dead giveaway that... Um, we're talking about a power supply problem. So you can see the flashing green light. And so now we'll go ahead and do the disassembly and look for what I expect might be a bad capacitor. Okay, let's start by obviously pulling the power cord. Get that out of the way. Uh, and we need to take, there's a button underneath the stand bracket for the stand and then there's four screws holding the back here just going to pull these four screws off okay all right one more here get these four black screws out then we need to pull the bezel off and that's a little tricky but I'll show you how so once we get the screws off the back flip it over and you need to pull down right here underneath the logo kind of pull down and pull up at the same time it's kind of tricky okay I'm back I got my plastic helper you might recognize this it's actually the uh, cleaner that comes with the George Foreman grill and it works real nice it's I mean, it's safer than using a putty knife. Once you get the bottom loose, that's really about all you need. And you just work your way around the top, up through the sides, and then until you get to the top, and turn around. It's a little bit easier. Get the top corners, and it just pops, snaps right off. Okay, so then you got the bezel off. Actually, you need to unplug this. It popped off when I pulled it up, but there's a little connector up here for the power switches on the front bezel. Uh, that popped off on this case, but when this will just lift right off. This is the back. Now we can get to the electronics. Go ahead and set the shell, back shell aside. And one other thing that you may want to watch out for is this little button. Uh, make sure you don't lose that. Lay it over to the side because if you forget to put that on, you won't be able to get the bracket, the stand back on correctly. Okay, so once you get that off, uh, you've got your four uh, connectors here for the backlit power. And um, the top one, in my case, is is blue black pink white pink white blue black you yeah. might want a connector for the uh, power supply there's two screws uh, on each side of the 110 power cord adapter so you're going to take that off both of those screws okay set those aside and then you need to take the two uh, posts off for the um, VGA adapter. And that's an eighth inch, I'm sorry, a three sixteenths socket. Or you can just use a pair of needle nose. They'll probably take them off too. All right, so once you get those uh, disconnected, the next thing you want to do is four screws. Uh, one on, two on each end that are holding the uh, bracket assembly bracket together. So you take out these four screws. One more screw. Okay. All right. Now up here at the top. So this display adapter cable at the top. Uh, needs to come off. There's two pins. There's like two little uh, 
hooks, you basically push in and pull back, and it's a ribbon connector. You push in and pull back, and it will slide right out of the connector like that. Okay? And you have to pull this tape up that's holding it down. Once you have that connector loose, you can lift the whole assembly off the back. Okay. So at this point we can take our flat panel and set it over someplace safe where it's not going to get damaged. Okay, so what we want to do is take off this uh, insulator shield. The board we want to get to is right underneath it. Got a little bit of adhesive on it, just pull it up and it'll pop right off. Sit that out of the way. And then now we've got three screws. We got two small ones and one big one. This is what I was talking about. Some of these screws are close to the same type as the screws that hold the base base assembly on. So you kind of want to keep them a little bit organized so you know which ones go with each board. The big fat one's pretty hard to miss. That's the only one that, that big. Okay, so once that's out of the way, you can just lift this board up. And then there's a small connector underneath this board. Uh, this cable punches into this board. Just push down on that connector and it comes right off. So here we have the power board. And I can see, right off the bat, I can see the problem. Um, this capacitor right here is domed up. In other words, it's, uh, you can't see it very well from there, but it's bubbled up on top. You can physically see it. I'm going to take a, a close-up with, uh, with my iPhone and insert the still right here in the video so you can really see what's going on. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we can remove this capacitor, we need to get some of this gummy gunk that's uh, put on here. It's just basically a sealant they put on here to keep things from um, moving around when they're shipping them overseas. They don't want anything to break, but it just creates all kinds of havoc when you're trying to repair something because it's basically gunky and in the way so be careful when you're pulling it off that you don't break any of the other parts okay so I got that out of the way uh, okay our solder iron's warmed up I put a little mark next to the two pins for that uh, capacitor and I got some uh, stuff here called dry wick once we get most of it off we can uh, just rock the cap a little bit while we're heating the joint and it should just pop right out. Alright, so I'm going to rock it. Got to get both pins hot at the same time. Sometimes you got to jump back and forth a little bit to get... Okay, I got that one out. There we go. All right. So I don't know if you can see it very good here, but the top of this is domed, domed out this way, and uh, that's that's definite indication that this capacitor's failed. So higher voltage. So the only thing I could find was a 1,035 volts, and that's completely fine. You never want to go lower on the voltage, but you can always go higher. If you can't find the exact voltage so um, I went ahead and cleaned off um, the uh, solder holes a little better so I could get the um, leads to slide right through and again our uh, minus the black mark that's on here is the minus and then you match that up with the black mark on your capacitor so I'm going to go ahead and pop that right in the in the hole I'm going to pull these leads out just to here, just so I 
it holds the cap um, flat on the board and obviously make sure you don't bridge any of the uh, don't get solder across any of the connectors just stay on the pin that you're trying to heat up okay that's it okay so we got the new part in now um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these leads off uh, so they're not sticking out trim them off pretty flat with the board <laughs> 